These Girl Scouts from Virginia are on an outing. But this is no ordinary camping trip. These girls are going caving. Jessica Fagan is 17 and has been caving since she was a little girl. Her father, Joey, is an experienced caver and the leader of this trip. It was Jessica's love for the sport that led to today's adventure. She says the challenge of getting through a difficult cave together creates a special bond. To do something challenging and talk about, I guess, our lives. And it's very special, I guess, how much you bond with people. There's girls that I've caved with years and years ago that I still keep in touch with. Somewhere in these hills, in the heart of Virginia, lies the entrance to their destination. But it's not easy to enter. Using ropes to rappel into the cave is the only real option for going underground. Inside, it's very dark, cold and damp. Lights and warm clothes are both necessities for the cavers. After only a few feet, they're at a very tight spot called the chimney. It's a drop of nine meters. Well, you can use this as a handhold too and just lower yourself down. Sometimes the only technique you can use in narrow sections of the cave is to carefully slide and squeeze and slowly ease your way through. It's a lesson in confidence, a lesson that Jessica learned early on when she had to go on her hands and knees over a ledge. Although the potential fall was only just over a meter, it was still a frightening experience. But, she says, in the cave, everyone encourages each other and no one gets too scared. Jessica explains that the main requirement is confidence, not strength. A lot of the caving challenges are not about, you know, how tall or how strong or how big you are, but about how confident you are. You need to be optimistic and be like, I can do this. I can crawl through this. I can climb up that. And even though you had this thing in the back of your mind saying that you couldn't and you did, then you learn something about yourself and you grow as a person. After descending more than 60 meters below the surface, they arrive at a special part of the cave. An underground room over 300 meters long and over 20 meters high. This is actually one of the larger rooms that is in the state of Virginia. It's a room as large as three football fields, created out of the surrounding rock by drops of water over millions of years. It's taken millions and millions of years to form the caves. And sometimes when people go caving, I don't think they realize how special that is and how important it is to conserve them, how important it is not to take the things out or to write their names. Just by listening, the group can tell they're getting closer to something else very special. A huge 18-meter waterfall a thrilling and exhilarating sight at the end of their long journey. There's so much more to us and to this world than humans. The nature is, I guess, bigger than we are. And we'll be here. Caves will be here, even if we aren't. <laughs>